All right, here we go. Question number 21 of 21. This is the last question in our college algebra homework number three in my lab math. We have a word problem. It's a toy rocket is shot vertically into the air from a launching pad six feet above the ground with an initial velocity of 56 feet per second. The height H, okay, so that means H of T is going to be the height in feet of the rocket above the ground at T seconds. So T in this formula represents time in seconds after the launch. It wants to know how long will it take the rocket to reach its maximum height, okay? And then it also wants to know what is the maximum height. So I've got my function written down up here. Let's talk about how we're going to find the answer, all right? So first things first, you need to know that if you're given a quadratic function and you're asked to find the maximum or the minimum, I don't care which one it is, if it's the maximum or the minimum, what you really want to find is the vertex. The vertex will occur at the max or the min. And we do have a formula for that, but we're going to need to know A and B. So A is negative 16. B is 56, and the vertex formula is minus B over 2A, F of minus B over 2A, and plug it in to the formula, that's going to be minus 56 over 2 times negative 16, making sure that I got those right, yeah, 56 and negative 16, F of whatever that is, okay, because this is the x coordinate of the vertex, and remember in this particular problem, uh, x is t, so whatever this is, this will be t, and then if I plug that in over here, that's going to give me uh, h, okay, where's my grant, all of this will be h, and so now we need to actually work this out. So with our handy dandy calculator, let's do menu one, and we're going to put fraction negative 56 over two times negative 16, seven fourths, which it doesn't specify. So we're going to make that a decimal, hitting the SD button, 1.75. Now that is T. That is the number of seconds it's going to take for the rocket to reach its maximum height. Let's see if that's right. 1.75. Bam. All right. So now it wants to know what is the maximum height. And up here, we can figure that out by plugging 1.75 into the function. So what is that going to be? That's going to be negative 16 times 1.75 squared plus 56 times 1.75 plus 6. And then what we want to do is we want to take all of this stuff and calculate it out to a single value. The easiest way to do that is with the handy dandy calculator. Here we go. Negative 16. Let's go ahead and do it the way it looks. Parentheses 1.75 squared plus 56 times 1.75 plus 6. 55 should be the maximum height that the rocket reaches. You got that? So if we calculate all of this out, that's going to work out to be 55, and that's going to be feet, because that is H. Now, if I stopped right there, I would be cheating you out of some learning. And so what I'm going to do is give you bonus material. It turns out if you have my handy-dandy 
Casio Class Wiz, that it will do all of this work for you. Yeah, it will find the vertex for you. Let's go to the menu. We want to scroll down and find the tile for the equation slash function. And hit equals. We have a polynomial of degree 2. So here's our quadratic. We need to put in A, B, and C. So A is negative 16. B is 56. And the constant is 6. Now if you hit equals again, the first x1 and x2, those are the x uh, intercepts. If you go a third time, then it's going to tell you, hey, look at that. It says this is a max, a maximum, which we knew that. And the x is 7 fourths. If I hit the SD, that's our decimal right there that we got. And if I hit equals again, that's going to give me the y coordinate of the vertex. So this calculator will do all of this work for you and give you what you need. Wow, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.